There's Skolkheim. Amanov got a bye, that's why we didn't see him. I should point that out. Skolkheim. Making his way to the red corner. And there's Amanov marching into the blue corner. Tajikistan national champion. 2020 national Spartakiad gold medalist this year. Skokheim has won the national title himself a couple of times. Went to the European Youths in 2018. He's just turned 22. Amanov is a good bit older at 26. Jennifer Huggins of Canada, our ref. Skogheim of Norway in the red, Amanov of Tajikistan in the blue. Lots going on with Skogheim. Like I said, lots of movement in and out with the feet, lots of upper body movement. He's got himself in very good condition. You've got to be fit to fight the way he fights right to the body there from Skolkheim but there's so much movement that quite a lot of the time he's relatively open when he throws dips those knees more kind of economical look to Amanov so far this is the first time I've seen him in the center of the ring Skolkheim just working around him keeping him moving keeping him turning He's just slipping with his boots every now and again, Amanov. Jab there from Skolkheim. Right to the body from the Norwegian, who just looks to let loose with a, a left hook, a little faint with a front foot, steps off to the side. He very rarely stays in one place for long. Right to the body there from Skolkheim. Shapes to move to the right, then slides off to the left. Right hand up top there from Skolkheim, got through. And right to the body, and he's busy, just as he was when we saw him the other day. Good right hand there from Skolkheim, thrown from wide. Combination on the inside there, though, from Amanov. Into the final minutes of round one. Just swapping right hands. Another right hand in there from Amanov. And towards the end of the round here, he's maybe just beginning to get to grips a little bit with the, with the target in front of him I think Skolkheim in the early stages could maybe be a little bit bewildering because there's so much going on in terms of the movement of his feet of his upper body the punches coming in from strange angles he's a kind of fighter where you just have to keep your eyes absolutely locked onto the target try and ignore all the distractions and maybe just focus on that on that torso on that body and slow him down just by finding him to the body, to the shoulder, anywhere really, just anything that might slow that movement down. One, two there from Amanov, another one at the end of the round, the right hand got through. Good finish there, I thought, in the final minute from the fighter from Tajikistan, but Skolkheim was, was good and busy in the opening stages, uh, around a two halves maybe, you could describe it as. It's hard to tell with Skolkheim a lot of the time exactly how much lands. Quite deceptive, he's quite eye-catching. And the split scores, three in favour of Skolkheim, two in favour of Amanov. I can see that because Skolkheim, like I said, in the, in the first half of the round, 
definitely looked like the boss, looked like he was dictating terms and did land. But towards the end there, Amanov was starting to get through. Into the second round, Skokheim of Norway taking it with three of the judges that first round. Amanov, Tajikistan in the blue, getting it with the other two, all ten nines. Right to the body there from Amanov. Good right hand from Skokheim. He was stepping off to his right hand side as he threw that one left to the body and goes with a right up top Hamanov had just got Skolkheim kind of where he wanted him there but Skolkheim not deliberately had spun round left hand from Amanov which meant that they couldn't continue because his back was turned to Amanov A decent one too from Amanov. Left hand on the inside there though from Skolkheim. Heading up towards the midway point of the round. And so far, second round relatively similar to the first. Skolkheim with plenty of movement thrown from angles in the first half of it, although I would say the first half of this second round narrower than the first half of the first. If Amanov can kind of take over a little bit like he did in the first round in this next 70 seconds or so then it could be enough for him to win this one goes to the body there with the left that was blocked by the elbow though good one too there from Skolkheim sat down on that just dropped down in his stance slightly more solid look about the punches right hand to the body from Skolkheim and Covered up well there too, as Amanov looked to throw the left right hand from Skolkheim. He's found a good rhythm actually in this second round and at the minute he's managing to keep it up all the way through to the end of the round. The difficulty with him is, is that even though, as I say, because he throws punches from strange angles, even though a lot of the time he is really quite open, Ladies he's not exactly easy to read. So exploiting that fact is, is quite difficult. So quite similar to the first round, but I thought Skokheim just held things together better towards the later stages than he did in the first. Well, split scoring again, and exactly the same scores actually as the first round. So Skokheim has got a two-point lead with three of the judges, and Amanov a two-point lead with the other two, which gives Skokheim a significant advantage because Amanov now will need he'll need a 10-8. with one of those three judges if you can get that then obviously he'll have won those other two cards that 10-8 would give a 28-28 and he would then have to hope that the judge who scored it like that on judge's decision went his way so that's a task ahead of him Skolkheim just has to make sure he doesn't lose this round 10-8. He'll go out to win the round, of course, but that's the equation. Right hand there from Skolkheim. A bit of blood, I think, maybe, coming from the end of the nose there of Amanov. That's a good right hand from Skolkheim. Dips those knees, rolls off to his left, and I think the referee will get the doctor to have a 
A quick look at that nose. Two minutes remaining. Short right hand on the inside there from Amanov, but he needs a lot more than that. Blood coming from the end of the nose again. Skogheim, as I said, he's in good condition because the way he fights is tiring. He makes it look quite easy, but he puts he puts heavy demands on his on his legs and on his upper body. The way he does it, the gum shield has come out there. Skogheims, so they both get a little bit of a breather here. Jab from Abanov. Double jab, look for the right hand. Right to the body, then just pull back out of range. Skokheim dipping at the waist. Grabbing hold of his man. He's almost there. Well, the referee's had a word with him a couple of times about that. He just needs to be very careful. He doesn't do anything to incur a point deduction in the final minute here that's really the only way this can go wrong for him now because if that were to happen and the judges were to give this round to Amanov as well then that would turn it into the 10-8 that he needs and she's saying it to him again there referee Jennifer Huggins slapping slapping red I don't think a point is going to go here but as I say that's really that's really the only route to victory now for Amanov is if the point gets taken away from Skogheim. Right to the body from Skogheim, there goes the belt. And he's done enough. We knew heading into that final round that he was two points clear on three of the cards. Needed to avoid any 10 eights to make absolutely sure of going through. And there's absolutely no possible way that Sidekrom Amanov has won that final round 10 8. So it will be Skogheim who goes through. We'll have to wait and see what the judges do with that final round scoring wise as to whether it will be. Well, it'll be a split decision either way, won't it? It'll be 3-2, whatever happens, because the other two cards were 2018 to Amanov. So Skogheim gets it. 3-2. And all three rounds scored exactly the same by all five judges. The top three there going 3-0 in favour of Skogheim. The bottom two going 3-0 in favour of Amanov. I'm in a Skogheim camp there. I think the right man's got that one. He tried to bring the heat, bring the pressure Amanov, but I don't think he ever really managed to do it to a great enough degree. He came closest to doing it in the first and third rounds. I thought the second round was a pretty clear 
round to Skogheim. So close fight, but I think we've got the right winner. Tajikistan, if they vehemently disagree with that, could send it to bout review. That capability is available, of course.